The majority of individuals, we're doing exactly what we're comfortable with. It's easy for us, we like it, there's not a lot of risks, a lot of reward because it's minimal and we're not trying anything new. We're not trying to go out there and see what else is out there and we're stuck in the little bubble that we enjoy because it's easy. So do you stay in that bubble? Do we stay in this comfort zone? Do we just continue to do, you know, we don't do anymore and we die? Is that what you want to do? Is that the life that you envision for yourself? You know, your hopes and your dreams and, and goals, are they outside of the comfort zone? Because if they are, if your hopes and dreams and goals are outside of that comfort zone, when are you going to get out of it? Are you going to wait right before it? Why are you not getting out of it right now? Why are you not trying to do something new? Why are you not seeing what you might be good at and then going ahead and trying it? Why are you also not seeing things that you're not good at and then practicing to get good at? Most of us, if we ask ourselves, have we done all we can do? Most of us will have to answer, no, we haven't. We've been holding back. We have ideas that we don't act on, things we want to do. We're afraid to take chances. We go through life trying to seek security and not coming outside of our comfort zone. And we take most of our stuff with us to the grave. The fact that you're still here, that you're still breathing, you've got some more work. When you get up in the morning, that you can look yourself in the face and say, hey, I'm living my life on my terms. That's important. You've got at least three or four or five talents that you are not even aware of right now. And you'll never be aware of them unless you come outside your comfort zone and challenge yourself to develop your talents and abilities. To see what it is that you might have a knack for that you haven't discovered as yet. I got nothing to lose. I got zero to lose on it. And nine times out of 10, the majority of you out there got nothing to lose also. Nothing. But you still don't try. You might be able to see that you are great at something by just putting a little effort into trying to move outside of your comfort zone. Instead of staying locked in it because it's easy. Because it's normal. So I challenge you. I challenge you right now. Do something new. Figure it out. Don't be afraid. Get outside of your comfort zone. And, and you might look back and realize, wow, that was easy. It was way easier than I believed it was going to be. But I had been holding myself down. I had been holding myself back from trying something new. Expand yourself. Take yourself out your comfort zone. Do not live in your bubble. Put some more air in your bubble. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. You will fail in your comfort zone. Success is not a comfortable procedure. It is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever want to be successful. All of you have extraordinary capabilities. All of you. You have to decide if you are willing to do the things to put you in that category. Rich people don't sleep eight hours a day. That's a third of your life. It ain't for 24 hours in a day. You cannot be sleep eight hours a day. You can't live and wake up at eight o'clock in the morning. It's 11 o'clock. They already making decisions about your life and your ass will sleep.